This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, I'm in the studio today because the temperature outside just is not cooperating. It's been in the 30s at night and that water temperature is still in the high 50s. So we're just going to open some mail. I'm pretty sure I'll have a better time doing that. The first piece of mail here is from Austin in Mount Pleasant, PA. Let's see what we have from Austin. Looks like we got a bunch of goodies in here. Right off the bat, I see some 3 out worm hooks. Ozark Trail worm hooks. This is a great size. I love these things, especially because they're like a dollar. Those are pretty awesome. We got some Team Catfish curly hooks, right? It's got a bunch of fiber all over it, and it's for catfish bait, so it sticks to the hook. I haven't really used these before, but why not, right? I have them now. Hopefully I can catch some catfish on this. Here we have fishing lure. Right, so this is like a little Chinese fishing lure, some kind of crankbait. I don't even know what that is. It's like a crawfish or a minnow or something. That's pretty cool. I like these cheapy fishing lures. They're fun to look at. Here's a nice one. We got a bomber. FW freshwater right so we got a small bomber crankbait here looks like a craw pattern it's a deep CB looks like we got a couple of one dollar buzz baits these are Walmart specials pretty cool Also a $1 spinner bait made in China for Walmart. Pretty cool. Here we have an inline spinner, 1 16th ounce by Ozark Trail. I'm seeing a pattern here. This looks like a lot of Walmart stuff, which I'm totally fine with because I buy a lot of lures at Walmart myself. Here we have a Rebel Deep CB, sort of like this bomber here. Except this one's a different color. That looks like white. Here we have a white Arky Bass jig. Pretty cool. Another Ozark Trail inline spinner. Here's a note. I'm already a few items in, but I'm going to read the letter. Hey Alex, my name is Austin from Mount Pleasant, PA. I've been watching your show for a while now, since your first 10,000 subscribers. Whenever I get home from work, I grab a beer and put on some realistic fishing. In this box, you will see mostly bass stuff, but I did throw in a couple of trout spinners. I hope to see you catch some fish on some of these items one of these days. Best of luck to you in the season. Thanks for keeping it realistic. Well, thank you, Austin, for sending these in. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to catch some bass on this stuff. It's my kind of stuff. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, we got some Yum Paddle Tail Swim Baits. Look at that, it says Crawdad on there, but I know they're not Crawdads. This is probably from like a bargain bin where they put the same generic sticker on everything. But these actually look pretty good. Got some yum swim baits. Here's a whole Ozark Trail spinner. Almost fell. Here's a whole stack of yum crawdads, right? They're not actually crawdads. We got some yum frogs, topwater toads. Got some actual yum crawdads. Some more yum. These are also craws. This craw though, 
I've seen this pattern used in a lot of other companies. I think it's also a warrior craw. Pretty cool. And some dingers. Good pile so far. Got another $1 spinner bait. Got another Bomber Freshwater. This one's a shallow A in a shad pattern. Another spinner. Here's a package of Zoom Green Pumpkin Salty Super Tubes. Now this is a bait I need to learn how to fish better. When I watch my old fishing videos from the 80s and 90s, they swear by tubes. I kind of have a hard time catching anything on them. I'm not sure why. I think I'm going to try more tube fishing this year. These are pretty awesome. Got some more hooks. These are 2 watt worm hooks. Finesse shrooms jig heads for Ned rigs. Pretty cool. Lures by hand. I'm not sure who makes this, but we got some three inch Helgramites. That's a pretty cool lure. I don't think the fish around here have seen too many three inch Helgramites, so I might be able to get a bite on that just because of how different it is. Got another package of Yum Dingers. Great, great variety here. Oh, cool. Rusty's Mean Green Shad. Right, so we got some dead shad here in some kind of preservative. And they're dyed green. It says it's a super bait for pike, walleye, salmon, catfish, stripers, and bass. I have never used these before. I don't even know if I have any. This is cool. I'm curious about this one. Another spinner here. Another spinner. Two more pieces. We got another package of finesse Ned Rig shrooms. And another Arky Bass Jig. That is it. Austin, great pile here. I know I can catch some fish on this stuff. All these yum plastics, even these Helger mites and crankbaits, really, really good stuff here. This is my kind of stuff. And I'm going to put these two bombers up on the wall right now. Awesome. Thanks again, Austin. Really, really good variety. All right, we still have a couple more packages. Let's see what we got. This one is from Josh R. I don't really see the return address. It's covered up by stamps. So, Josh R. Let's see what we got here. Hey, I love the channel. I have been a subscriber for well over a year. I hope you like the baits and picture I drew. I hope you can catch a fish on one of these baits I sent you. I have a fishing channel, and the name is Gone Fishing with Josh. Keep up the good work, and as always, keep it realistic. Well, thank you for sending stuff into the show, Josh. And thank you for the drawing of my realistic fishing logo. That's pretty cool. Let's see what's in the box. Looks like we got some pink trick worms. Not sure what brand, but they look like Zooms, I would guess. So we got some pink trick worms. Looks like we also got some flukes. Some white flukes. Also, a mini tackle box with some crankbaits inside. Let's check them out. Pretty cool. We got a... Looks like brand new crankbait here. I'm not sure which brand this is. I would guess maybe Ozark Trail. Good color.
Here's another one, just like that, but in a craw pattern. This one's a little different. I've never seen one quite like this. So this is a Storm Soft Shad. So this is a crankbait hybrid soft plastic. Look at that. I have never seen that before. That's pretty cool. Here we have a Bomber Shallow A. Shad pattern looks good. And another crankbait similar to those first two. Sweet box. Nice crankbaits. Thanks again to Josh for sending the crankbaits, the flukes, the worms, and the Realistic Fishing logo. And we got the logo right up here. All right, let's get into the next box. This one is from William H. in Athol, M.A. Athol is in Worcester County in Massachusetts. All right, William from Massachusetts. Let's see what's in the box. Let's just get into it, and if there's a letter in there somewhere, I'll read it. Here we have a Strike King Bitsy Bug. It's got a label over it. Can't really see it. There we go. Strike King Bitsy Bug. All right, here we have some kind of a soft plastic sunfish swim bait. Look at that tail. Looks like a Savage Gear or a Live Target. I'm not exactly sure which one. Pretty awesome. Got to watch out for those loose hooks. And we have a Topwater Popper. Not exactly sure which brand. Maybe Ozark Trail. Here's another one. Kind of similar. This one I recognize. This looks like a jawbone, flapping craw crankbait kind of deal. I might have one of these somewhere. I don't see it right offhand, but I think this is a jawbone. This is pretty cool. I've never caught one on that bait, but it is neat how it works. The claws kind of swing back and forth while you reel it in. Here we have a package of Stren 14 pound test mono. This is awesome. That's right in the range I like to use. 10 to 14 usually on my bait casters. Here we have a Cotton Cordell medium diver in a shad pattern. Pretty awesome. Uh oh, more loose hooks. Got a few crankbaits kind of tangled up together here. Let's see if we can get them undone. So here we have a Bagley's Diving Killer B. Good looking crankbait here, a Bagley. It's like a fire tiger pattern. Hmm, I'm not sure who makes this one. This is also a Bagley. This is like a some kind of a minnow pattern here. It does have a dot like a shad, but it's a little long and skinny. I bet I could still catch something on it though. Good looking crankbait there. Jerkbait? I'm not sure. I'm not sure who makes this, but this is like a segmented swim bait, right? In a bluegill pattern. Pretty cool. This one says Storm. I'm not sure exactly which model this is. Looks like a segmented jerkbait. Pretty cool. This one says Flicker Shad. I'm pretty sure that's a Berkeley. 
and a topwater frog. I'm not sure who makes this one. It sort of looks like a booyah. Maybe a, maybe a savage gear. I'm not sure. Got a black hollow body frog. Here we have an LJ Pilot. I'm not sure who makes this. LJ Pilot. XDR65F. I am not sure what this is. It kind of looks like an Arashi with that weird eye, but I'm not sure. Here we have a Rapala segmented crankbait. Awesome. Awesome variety of crankbaits here. I'm going to have to go get a tackle box to put all these in. Here we have a chatterbait, but it has like a swinging head on it. Check this out. I don't think I have any of these in my collection. Pretty cool. Chatterbait with a swinging head. Good old Hedden Super Spook Jr. Nice topwater walking bait here. All right, we got a random jig based on that head. I'm not sure what that is. Kind of like a finesse jig of some sort. It's pretty cool. Here we have a buzz bait with a unique design. See, it has this metal buzz on the outside and this clear plastic buzz on the inside. It's like a double bladed buzz bait. I don't think I've seen this one before. Here we have a spinner bait. Looks to be in terrific shape. While these are not in the package, they don't look beat up, which is nice. Good looking stuff. Here we have a package of Z-Man Elaztec TRD Cross. I recognize the sticker. They're from Dick Sporting Goods on clearance. Awesome. That's exactly what I do, is buy stuff from Dick Sporting Goods on clearance. Well, I used to. All of my Dick Sporting Goods stopped selling fishing tackle. Moving on, we got some more Elaztec Pop Frogs with a Z. I have never seen these before, so these are soft plastic frogs, but the face is kind of cupped. I don't know if you can see that. That's pretty cool. Got some more Laztec here, pop frogs in white. Here's a package of Big O's Eel Eliminator. So I have seen this before. This is pretty cool. This is like a big grub, but it kind of has like a frog or a toad head and one big tail, right? Yeah, that's a cool bait. It's kind of like a giant tadpole. It says, wreck them. What is this? Here we have a quantum bait caster. Eight bearing quantum escalade. I have seen this at Dick Sporting Goods. I'm pretty sure it's a Dick Sporting Goods exclusive. Quantum Escalade Baitcaster, 7 to 1 gear ratio. I'll have to find a rod for this and get it out there, see what it can do. That's pretty awesome. Here's a package of Cabela's 4-inch Buzz Toads in Bullfrog. It's another topwater soft plastic. Also a package of Yum Dingers. You can never have too many Yum Dingers. Here's a package of Big Bite Baits Brush Hogs. Another bait you can't have too many of. Power Bait Pit Boss. All right, so I'm used to fishing Pit Boss in a Havoc style bait. But here's the power bait version. I know I can catch a fish on this if the damn water would ever warm up. Got another package of big bite baits. 
Here's some soft stick baits. Another bait you can never have too many of. Here's an interesting topwater walking bait. I don't know what brand it is, but it has an interesting paint job. It's like white cracked paint, like a cracked egg. That's pretty cool. Oh boy. Go, 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 gin baits. Go, gin baits. I don't think I've tried this one yet. I think I had some, what were they called? Six inch trench hogs. I had trench hogs. I, I actually bought mine online for the first release. I think I was like the first guy besides the Guggen Squad to do a video about Guggen Baits. Anyway, here we have black and blue flake slim shake worms. Looks like he got them at Dick's Sporting Goods on clearance already. Dick Sporting Goods, struggling to move them Guggen baits, huh? Knocking the price in half. Here's the letter. It was on the other side of the box. Dear Alex, my name is Liam. I am nine and a half years old. I watch your YouTube channel with my dad. I love the picking up trash videos. You go to our favorite store, Dick Sporting Goods. I used to love going to Dick's Sporting Goods, but they got rid of all their fishing stuff. I live in Massachusetts. My dad Billy and I are sending you some lures with this letter to try out. Hopefully you'll be able to use them and catch some bass. Hope you can give us a shout out on your channel. I would love to meet you one day. Thanks for making your videos and always keep it realistic. All right, Liam and Billy, this shout out's for you. I really appreciate all the baits, even the Guggen baits. Awesome variety here. Thanks for sending mail into the show. Cheers, you guys. One more package. Let's get into it. This one is from Amazon in Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Is there a note on one of these? From Mark. Well, thank you, Mark. I think you actually commented on one of my videos that you were going to be sending these in. I have a feeling I know what it is. And it is my favorite, especially for big panfish. We got Gulp Alive. Emerald Shiner color. Perfect, because I just ran out. You must have seen the video where I used my last one. These actually look very new. Mine were a little bit older. You can tell because the juice was starting to turn yellow. Brand new gulp minnows. Thank you, Mark, for sending them into the show. This is one of the only baits I can catch fish on right now because of the stupid weather, so I really appreciate them. Thanks again to everyone who sent something into the show. I really hope I get a chance to catch something from a lure in all of these packages. It's amazing to me how many people send mail into the show. Whether it's panfish bait, bass fishing lures, even reels, artwork, all of it is totally awesome. And it really helps in trying times like these. Cheers to all the realistic fishing fans out there. Thanks for all the mail. And thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.